On the bench is an RCA RBB1 receiver from the 1940s. It's a US Navy model. Um, very, very bulky receiver. It's uh, not quite as heavy as it looks, but it uh, is quite bulky in because it's a sort of a cube shape. Difficult to manhandle on a small bench like this. Um, it comes with a separate power supply, which is under the bench. It's down there. And that provides uh, 200 volts for the uh, plate supply, uh, 105 volts for the local oscillator, tube plate and screen supplies, uh, 6.3 volts for the tube heaters, and 17 volts for uh, which feeds a amperite ballast tube here, which is used to uh, regulate the uh, heater supply on the local oscillator, really protecting against uh, voltage fluctuations on board ship. Not really needed when powered off the main supply. Anyway, um, I've just been doing some preliminary checks on this. I checked the power supply yesterday and that's looking good and working great. Uh, I've done some resistance checks on the receiver. I've taken all the tubes out and tested them. And There's one or two are a little weak, but they're not bad. Uh, some of the other ones are better than new. <laughs> they actually test really good. So I put them all back. I uh, given a little bit of a clean up of the chassis. It was actually pretty clean. I haven't touched any of the switches or controls. I've done some resistance checks um, on capacitors and uh, across the uh, plate supply to ground, screen supplies to ground. Everything looks kind of okay. Um, most of the capacitors in these units are silver mica in the front end. They're all silver mica and um, most of the ones in the IF section uh, here are all silver mica too, except some um, paper and oil bathtub type capacitors uh, used for bypass uh, mainly. And sometimes they can leak a little bit with age. None of them are physically leaking. I've checked the seals and they're all looking good. Um, so anyway, with the resistance checks out the way, I thought I'd give it a try and power it up. Um, so I'm powered up through a, a variac. I'll change, turn the voltage down a little bit. So let's see, I'm applying about uh, 80 volts, thereabouts. Nothing much is happening. Oh, wait a minute. I see the, uh, the the pilot light has come on. And I'm just measuring the um, the plate voltage here. We've got about 70 volts. Just put the voltage up a little bit more. We're now up to about uh, 90 volts. Oh, got some audio. on the uh, lowest band at the moment. This receiver covers um, 500 kilohertz to uh, about four, yeah, 4 megahertz. It's only four wave bands on it. Now to 146 volts play voltage. I'll take the uh, lines, line voltage up to 117 volts. And the plate voltage should be reading around about 200 volts. Well, what do you know? 199.2, <laughs> that's good enough for me. I've got an analog meter on here as well, reading about the same. Um, it's actually got a, a plate supply uh, voltmeter on the front panel. It's reading a little low there. That could be because one of the resistors has drifted. Um, it's uh, Feeding the um, feeding the meter or bypassing the meter, I don't know. Um, we've got a signal level meter and we've got an output level meter, so audio output level, which is uh, not showing anything because I've got it turned right down. Oh, it's working too. That's good. And it's just picking up noise. I'll put it onto um, this extreme low end of the broadcast band, I guess. So I'll put it onto a different. Oh, well, yep, some music. Got a f just a few feet of wire as an antenna connected to the uh, 
to the antenna lead there inside the RF compartment. Try low frequencies in the broadcast band. Okay, it's got uh, three selectivity positions. It's on medium. It's broad. It's a little noisier and higher frequencies coming through. A little noisy. Sharp. And that switch needs to clean. Um, so it's on uh, modulation AVC at the moment. And to CW. You've got to control the um, the volume with the RF gain control. The, the audio control has got well, the regular audio control has got no effect when it's on uh, CW. You control it with the RF gain. The BFO is working well, and these have got a really good um, audio filter. It's on broad at the moment, which is the normal position. Put it onto sharp, and it, it it's tuned to about one kilohertz. You see when it gets to one kilohertz, so it really peaks the signal up nicely. Yeah, these switches need a really good clean. And uh, when it's on AVC, the RF gain control's got no effect, and the audio control works. It's got an antenna tuner there, it's working. This uh, affects the output level meter, so it's uh, have a direct maximum movement, or you can have plus 10 dB, plus 10 tray dBs and so on. Also we've got, oh, we've got a, a noise limiter. If we just distort the audio. My experience working on an RBC receiver last year um, showed this this circuit's quite sensitive and I don't think it's working properly. So that needs uh, that needs looking at. It is working. It basically acts as a sort of squelch control. So you can can't wait. So you can set it so it's the receiver's almost quiet. And then when you tune in a stronger station than the quite than the noise level you're listening to there, it should it should come up to normal volume. Yeah, I don't think that's working properly. <laughs> um, it is very sensitive to the resistor values and any leakage on capacitors in that circuit, so that probably needs uh, needs some attention. That's good. Let's just see if it's working on all the bands. So band one. Let's tune it to sort of mid range on the band. Say seven hundred kilohertz. And I just got a yeah. It's pretty accurate. It's just on a piece of wire hanging in the shack. Try the next band. So it's one point one eight megahertz. That's that. 
This one's at 2 megahertz. Wow, pretty close. <laughs> Impressive. And uh, And the highest band, and this is uh, say 3.5 megahertz. Wow. But, um, that's very good. So we know it's working on all bands. And uh, anyway, I'll leave it running for a little while today. Um, let uh, things heat up, let some of the resistors heat up and so on. And then I'll do some checks, further checks on capacitors and resistors and uh, clean the controls and see how, uh, see how it's working then. But it's pretty good for a first switch on. RCA RBB1, a fine receiver from the 1940s. <laughs>